I'm challenging you to yield yourself, to get in the right frame of mind, to get in the right attitude, and not just, amen, with our hands out to God saying, bless me, give me, but actually with both hands extended to the Lord saying, use me. And I want to preach to you this morning that God can use anything. Let me tell you, he can use anything. He can use your good. He can use your bad. He can use your strengths. He can use your weaknesses. He'll use, my God, animals in the work of of the Lord. The Lord uses ungodly men, wayward men. God uses children in the work of the Lord. There are some children that's got enough faith to say, Lord, if you can use anything, you can, you can use me. He will even use the wicked. He will even use those <clears throat> that have not called on his name. Those that have not been born again. They haven't been down in Jesus' name. They don't know the songs of Zion. They don't read the Holy Scripture. They're not in the house of God, and yet God will use them. Let me give you five things that you need to do to be used of God. The first thing that you need to do if you're going to be used of God is you've got to surrender yourself to God. Use me to do your work. Use me. I'm not going to fight back. Use me. I'm not going to say no. Use me. I'm not going to say what I don't have. Use me. I'm not going to say what I don't know. Use me. I'm not going to say I've wasted too much time. Use me. I'm not going to tell you it's too late in the game. Use me. I'm not going to tell you I don't have the wherewithal because you can use anything. Lord, I want you to use me. And the second thing that you got to have if you're going to be used of God, you got to have faith you gotta step out on nothing you got to go when you don't have everything that you need because your trust is not in man but you're trusting in the living God number three you need to learn how to pray if you're gonna be used of God Prayerlessness is the largest form of pride because when you don't pray, you tell God, I don't need you. When you don't pray, you tell God, I got it all by myself. When you don't pray, you tell God, you got it all figured out. But if you're willing to get down on bending knees and stretch your hand to God and say, Lord, I need your help. Lord, I need your intervention when my heart is overwhelmed. Lead me to the rock that's higher than I. You got to pray in the lion's den. You got to pray in the belly's well, in the well of my God. You got to pray in the fiery furnace. You got to pray when your heart is overwhelmed. You got to pray early when I seek thee. And number four, after you surrender to God, after you have faith, after you learn how to pray, you got to humble yourself. So say, yeah, if you're going to be used of God, you cannot be proud. If you're going to be used of God, you can't trust in the arm of the flesh. If you're going to be used of God, you got to stay low. He that humbleth himself under the mighty hand of God. In due time, he'll raise you up. Lord, have mercy. You got to say, Lord, hide me behind the cross. Somebody say, yeah. And the last point I give you. Here's the last point. If you're going to be used, you got to, got to, got to give God the glory. If you're going to be used of God, you got to give him praise. you got to give him thanks. you got to say it is he that have made us and not we ourselves. We are his people. I can do it by the grace of God. I am what I am by the grace of God. They can praise me and I'll give it to God. Use me to heal the sick. Use me to share my testimony. Use me in the city. Use me around the world. Use me. Use my gift. Use my treasure. Use my talent. Use my strength. Use my story. Use my thoughts. Use my flaws. Use my weakness. Use me sick. Use me strong. Use me. Everything. Everything I am. Everything I have. It belongs.
to you. You made me. You birthed me. You raised me up. You commissioned me. Here 